Hi, everybody. Oh, my God. This lighting is atrocious. I'm so sorry, but it's like 5.30. The sun is setting. This is just what we got to work with, okay? I'm seeing an inhaler tonight, and I'm gonna get ready for it right now. And you're gonna be here with me while I do it. Yeah. That's what's happening. Not to be that person, but I don't have as much time as I should have allowed myself for. But that's not gonna stop us from getting ready. Honestly, it doesn't matter to me what time I get there. Doors open at seven, opener comes on at eight, they come on at nine. I don't know who the opener is. I honestly don't really mind missing it. Just so I don't stress myself out, I give myself as much time as I need to get there. I'm doing my makeup with you. I'm gonna have all the products linked down below. When I do my makeup for concerts, it's really nothing crazy. You Usually I don't even wear makeup, unless I feel the need to. But I mean, I'm just gonna do like my everyday makeup. But yes, I'm seeing Inhaler, I'm so excited. I reacted to their second album, Cuts and Bruises, which is what this tour is for. You can go check that out if you want. But I am obsessed with them, I love them. I've actually been listening to them for three years now, I think, or just about, which I hadn't realized because I started listening to them during COVID and um, anything that I discovered during that time, I actually just did yesterday. Like nothing that happened during that time is real, um, that is not me, that is a different person. Okay, can I try and not spend all of my time on my eyebrows today? That'd be really great. Like I said, I don't really care what time I get there because I am not the type of person that needs to be barricade front row, even like five feet from these guys. I'm in the back because that just makes me feel the most comfortable and less anxious because guess what? Concerts make me really anxious. Most things make me anxious, but concerts, standing room concerts especially, I'm gonna do contour. <laughs> this Charlotte Tilbury it takes so much maneuvering and is so messy. I've never been to this venue before either, which is also adding to the anxiety. And last time I went to a new venue, my dad's car got broken into and all of his stuff was stolen. So I think the anxiety is valid now, <laughs> whereas before it was just, just cause. So yeah, that does make me a little nervous, but we're in like a completely different area. That was in Deep Ellum. I'm seeing them in Dallas, by the way, I didn't say that. But I'm excited to see my boys. I'm excited. I did specifically buy a shirt just for this because it was too good not to have and wear to see them. So I bought it and I have it and I'm gonna wear it and Loki hoping that their photographer, Lewis, he sees me and it's like, oh my God, girl, your shirt is like, so true. Let me have a few pics for the Instagram because he did message everyone on Discord and say, if you're gonna wear a cowboy hat, let me know. I'll take a picture of you. And then I fully debated changing my outfit to accommodate a cowboy hat. And I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna be that person to be standing in front of people wearing a cowboy hat. I mean, granted, I am short, so they could probably just see over my head anyways. But still, like, one thing I do before concerts is um, I look at the set list, which it doesn't always work out because Texas so whoa, Texas- which doesn't always work out because Texas shows tend to be the first shows on a tour. For this, Dallas is the third show. So I was able to look at the set list and what I do is I see what songs they're playing and then make a list of the songs that I need to record. Otherwise my hand will be up in the air the entire time and I will come home with a sore arm and my storage will be gone. You know, it's really just efficient to already decide what I'm gonna film. So then I can just relax and enjoy the other songs. <laughs> and be chill. Um, but when Dublin and Ecstasy comes on, uh, my hand will be in the air. It will be in the air. I'm not gonna do a ton of concealer because well, I'm not gonna do much makeup at all because another thing is like, I don't wanna come home and then take off a bunch of makeup. That's just a no. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna be me. It's probably gonna be me. It's like the worst because I'm tired. I'm gonna come home with a headache. I already know it. What other songs am I excited to hear? Thank you for asking. So I'm excited to hear Dublin and Ecstasy, obviously. I keep going back and forth on if that's my favorite song off the new album or not. I know I originally said that. However, the song that has been playing on repeat is in fact The Things I Do. And I think The Things I Do is my favorite and then Dublin and Ecstasy is second. But they're not playing The Things I Do or Perfect Storm, but we're, whatever. Also excited to hear Totally. I know people are pissed because they're playing their old stuff instead of the new stuff, but hey, Totally is that girl and she's totally amazing and awesome and I love her and I'm so excited to hear her live. Also excited to hear um, It Won't Always Be Like This and we have to move on. It Won't Always Be Like This or My Honest Face. One of those two was the first song I heard by them, so I'm excited to hear either of those live. I don't think I'm gonna get any merch though because yeah, no, I am definitely broke after the pleasing 
video. <laughs> also their merch, it's expensive. I can buy it on their website and it's not that cute. So that makes my experience a lot more chill. I'm just going there to have fun and watch my boys sing. Okay, moving on to blush. Wow, I'm almost done. I'm gonna start with this Tarte blush. I feel like I need a lot of blush today. I don't, but I like feel like I do. The second blush I'm gonna use is this one from Play Beauty. It's real cute. It's like a baby pink, but it does have glitter in it. I've kind of gotten over it, but I kind of haven't. <laughs> <laughs> it does leave glitter on my face and that pisses me off. Okay, I think I overdid it on the blush. Oh, maybe not. Blush is like the first thing to go on your face, so I don't feel bad ever packing it on. Like I turn my head for a second and come back and it's all gone, so... Yeah, no, I think it's okay. Next up, I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna put on mascara now. Uh, this is my favorite mascara. Again, it's linked down below. It's the Maybelline Lash Discovery Waterproof. It's so good. It's like the best, simplest mascara. I love it. It holds my curl. Nothing else does. I'm like teetering right now on the edge of not being nervous at all and being like so chill and like about to shit my pants. Like, I don't know what is happening in my brain right now. It's not a good feeling. <laughs> I don't know what to think because I am profusely sweating right now. Um. Yet yeah, chill. Let's do bottom lash mascara, which I think makes a huge difference on my eyes. If I'm not wearing mascara, it literally will not look like I'm wearing makeup. Mascara is the thing that changes how my face looks. My new obsession right now is in fact the Click 5. Yeah, I said what I said. I'm obsessed with them right now. I can't stop listening to their music. It is the only thing that is making me happy right now is listening to their music. <laughs> and I don't think any of you understand because I have not once ever in my 20 years of living seen, met, heard of any kind of the Click 5 fan ever. Never in my life. Never have I ever heard anyone actually speak their name. <laughs> and that's really disappointing to me, honestly, because they're really good and I know they broke up, but I'm not me if I'm not listening to boy bands that broke up well after they broke up. <laughs> I don't know what lip I want to do. My tried and true Tarte Lip Quench Balm in the shade Nude. I think I'm gonna do that. Let's line my lips, I guess. NYX Lip Pencil in the shade Natural. Yeah, okay, lip liner is on. I'm gonna do the lipstick. Cute, I look like alive. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. Let me get it. <laughs> I think I'm wearing my socks that say slut. It seems fitting. Oh, you're ready to see the shirt. It says I heard Irish boys on it, and then the heart is the Irish flag. Oh, I'm so excited for it. I'm gonna do that with just like jeans and then I think. My Sambas. What's your name? Rachel. Rachel. Okay, my makeup is done, but I am gonna go put on the outfit. Here's the shirt and then I'm just wearing jeans. And then of course, oh my God, slut socks. Yep. The shirt is from Favorite Child Collective. Love them. I'm gonna do my Sambas. I'm gonna play some clips from the show and then I'll see you after. Okay. Ah. <laughs> seeing them. I can't believe I saw them. Wow, they were really good. They were amazing actually. Like, you know, my dad and I are walking back to the car and he goes, uh, I'm guessing you like the bassist.
So what? What does it matter? Yes, I love Bobby Skeets, Mr. Robert himself. Yeah, I like him. I do. And I'm not afraid to say it. It was a great time. I did really enjoy my time there. Also, someone threw a boa at Eli, and I don't think he knew what a boa was, because he looked at it and he was like... They were great. Excited to see them again. Don't know when that's gonna be. Anyways, okay. Thank you for watching. Okay, I'm gonna go sleep because I'm exhausted. I started yawning halfway through their set. Not because they were warm, but because I was exhausted for some reason. That Red Bull did nothing to me. Okay. Yeah.